five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, hope you are having a great time at Raman Science Festival. I am here with some amazing facts on light. So let us begin. So what is light? Light is actually a connection between us and the universe. In night, you might have seen that the stars that twinkle on the sky, they are actually far away from us. We are on earth and the stars are in the galaxy. But because of light, we can see them and this helps us measuring the distance between us and the stars. But what is light actually? Light is actually the smallest form of energy which can be transported from one position to another position. A photon is an elementary particle without any other size. Light consists of many many and many photons. Okay. It cannot be created, but it can only be created or destroyed. Likewise, the light travels in the form of waves. Thus, we can say that light has wave particle quality. That is, light has dual quality. That one is the light, one is the one which is the particles, that is the photons. And the other one is my wave at the same time. So students, our light has dual nature. That is, it will act as a particle that is the photons as well as display the wave nature. So, when we mention the light, we actually mean the visible light. The visible light which is visible around us by which we can see everything. You know, the, the rays from sun are visible light, we can see that light. When you lit a torch, you can see a light. Okay, those lights are called as the visible light which are the tiny part of an electromagnetic spectrum in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Now, the electromagnetic radiation consists of enormous number of wavelength and frequency. There is a fun fact here students. The gamma rays have the smallest wavelength because they are the highest energy protons and the radio waves on the other hand having the smallest wavelength. So, from the point of view of physics, all these different waves are the same. They all have wave particle duality and they all travel with the speed of light just with a different frequency. And because of their frequency, the energy they hold differs due to which they interact with the matter differently. Now the question arises is what makes the visible light special? Well, there is absolutely nothing. We just happen to have eyes evolved that are good at registering exactly this part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Visible light is the only set of electromagnetic radiation that propagates in water, which happens to be when most eyes evolved millions of years ago. The visible light has a specific wavelength and it also consists of some major colors. These major colors can be seen when the sunlight strikes the raindrops and the rainbow appears. The colors formed in the rainbow are my Vibgyor. Vibgyor stands for violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. That was about the physics aspect of light. Let us now dive into the biological aspect of light. Till now we have covered the physics aspect of light. Now I would like to draw your attention towards the biological aspect of light. The biological aspect of light starts with our eyes. We all have eyes and we all have the photoreceptors as well. So what are photoreceptors? The photoreceptors are the image forming cells. They are the special type of cell that are capable of absorbing light and converting it into an electrical signal. These photoreceptors are present in our retina. They are of two types that is the rod cell and micron cell. The rod cells are highly sensitive to light and function in night vision. They help us to, to see in the night. Whereas the corn cell are capable of detecting a wide spectrum of light photons and are responsible for the color vision. Wow! 
Now we are aware of light and we also know that the eyes helps us to sense the light. Isn't that really amazing? Now let us dive into the smaller scale as to how light is produced. You must be aware of the tiny building blocks of the thing which we commonly call as atoms. Atoms are so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes. We require some special instruments like a microscope to see them. Now there are electrons, protons and neutrons present in the atoms. In the atom, when these electrons excite and de-excite in the atom, they produce a certain frequency spectrum which may or may not be visible to our eyes. But obviously we can detect these spectrums. Now we have a whole electromagnetic spectrum as shown in the diagram. Now that's been enough about the light theory man. Let us dive into the amazing activities that I've got for you today. Let us start with the materials. These all materials you will require in your today's session. You will require an A4 sheet of paper, some multicolor sketch pens, scissors, ruler scale, pencil sharpeners and erasers, soft drink and straw, craft glue, cardboard and a transparent cello tape. And I hope you all guys have installed the application that I have sent you. So welcome to the activity session. These are the materials which are required in our session. An A4 size paper, one scissors, sketch pens, pencil, ruler, eraser and a bottle of Fabicol. Now take the A4 size paper and fold it from the middle such that you will have two equal parts of this paper. Now with the help of scissors, with the help of scissors cut this paper from the middle so that we will have two equal parts of the sheet. Now we, when we have cut the paper into two equal parts, take one part and now we have to draw a ghost in this part. With the help of a pencil, show your creative skills, show your creative skills and draw a fantastic ghost. Let us begin. You need to be very much careful when you draw a ghost because the details are very much essential here. Your, your ghost should look like a perfect piece of your drawing. You know, do not forget to mention the head of the, the head of the ghost and also try to rectify your mistakes with the help of an eraser. Okay. Your, your ghost should have at least two hands one head and the rest of the body now after drawing an outline of the ghost we need to draw the eyes and mouth of the ghost because you know we want that ghost to be our friendly ghost no you want you want to make some friends right so let us make this ghost our real friend by adding some new features like eyes and mouth Isn't that great? See, this ghost has two eyes and eyebrows along with a mouth. Now, once you are finished with your drawing, once you are finished with your drawing, try to cut try to cut this ghost with the help of scissors. Friends, you need to be very much careful while working with scissors. Okay? Make sure you cut your ghost in the best way so that the shapes of the ghost's body, the arms and the heads does not get messed up. Look what I found. This is our new friend Mr. Ghosty. Now we are going to add some more colors in the in our Ghosty. 
you know you, one thing that you should remember is you should also take out the eyes properly and the mouth as well finishing plays a vital role in this okay so now pick up one of your favorite colors and show your creative skills say hi to my friend mr ghosty ooh what a dangerous ghost he looks like now let us create some magic with my friend mr ghosty try to add a support at the back of mr ghosty so that you can hold mr ghosty with the help of a pencil now with the help of application that i had already shared with you we will create some magic Wow, what an amazing experience that was. Now, moving ahead with our next activity. For this activity, we require the same A4 size sheet paper. Now, in this activity, what we will be doing is we need to separate this paper into 16 sections by folding the paper adjacently like this. after making the 16 folds your paper will look like this now what you need to do is we need to write something special on this we will start from this end which is my this end now starting from this end what i will write what i will write is i will write signs s then following the adjacent side you know this side c and completing the spelling likewise i will also write is in two adjacent folds now the last thing is awesome now how will i write awesome i will write awesome from this opposite edge a w e hey guys look at this sign says Awesome. Science is awesome. Hey friends, take a fresh sheet of paper and in that sheet we will be going to draw a scenario, a beautiful scenario. Or you can draw anything you want. I will be drawing a beautiful scenario here. Wow look at this after completion your scenario will look like this now what we will be doing we will be seeing an amazing fact of light now look at this natural scenario here wow isn't this amazing look at this beautiful one i hope you enjoyed this session thank you very much